we have the cosmetics manager joining us from London Drugs today, Amanda Manholt. Great to have you back on the show. Thanks. Great to be here again. Yes. Well, thank you for being here. We are learning all about BB creams and something called CC creams, which I don't know anything about. Yeah, it's kind of funny. There, and there's now there's even a DD cream. So Things are getting crazy. Best way is just sort of to break it down and maybe talk about what they are and where they came from. Uh, BB creams really developed in Asia a number of years back and what they were is they were a cream that the uh, doctor would uh, have ordered for their patients after they'd had cosmetic procedures to their skin. So maybe they'd had a microdermabrasion and they were leaving the office, they were feeling quite red and their coloring was uneven. So they wanted something to soothe the skin, hydrate the skin, but also kind of cover up a little bit of that redness or whatever was going on. So grew and developed in Asia and then of course came over to North America and has become a very big category. I'm continually asked, you know, what's BB cream? Mm -hmm. What is it? What does it do? Who's it for? Really, it's for anybody. The bottom line is if you have a moisturizer and you have a product with a little bit of tint in it as well, um, and then it will also offer a number of other benefits for them, for the client or the customer. And it isn't that BB is standard from one brand to the other. So you'll look at one BB will have sunscreen. For example, this one here. I've used this one at the lake in the summertime. It's an SPF 30 UVA, mm. UVB, broad screen protection from the sun. It's moisturizer and it's a little bit of color. Uh, this one here. Is a, they call it a skin enhancer. Um, it's going to even out the skin tone, um, control shine, reduce the appearance of imperfections, but it doesn't have a sunscreen. So really, you kind of have to read from one to another to see what they all offer. So as a cosmetician, you must know what you know. Which which products should people really be if they're really serious about getting a good one? If they're well, you want to basically come down. It comes down to what you're looking for. Some people want a sunscreen in their product, mm -hmm. and some people don't like it. You'll find that there are textural differences mm -hmm. from one to the other. Um, you know, something like this one here, this L'Oreal one is really nice. It goes on almost gray, and then as you rub it into the skin, it changes the color and it mm -hmm. matches to your skin tone. Mm -hmm. Very, very light. So somebody with maybe an oilier skin would like the feel of this one, uh, as opposed to something that has a sunscreen in it, because sunscreen will often make the product feel more heavy on the skin. I just can't imagine somebody not wanting to have a daily sunscreen in their moisturizer. I know. It's, uh, it's funny. A lot of people say, oh, what's the greatest and latest for anti-aging and, and what should I be using? And uh, I'm a big believer myself in sunscreen, probably <laughs> mm -hmm. because I am so fair. But yes. um, really, if sun prevention or sun protection is super important. Sure. Yeah. Okay. So what about the next uh, group? Yeah. So BBs were the first tinted moisturizer <coughs> with, like I said, some with sunscreen, some without, um, helping to blur imperfections, that sort of thing. And now we have the, the next generation, which is CC cream. And, and I was doing some sort of <coughs> comparing between the products, um, but something that seems to be constant with the CC creams is a uh, color correction. So something that uh, a lot of women are concerned about is they get a little bit on in years. It isn't always just about wrinkles and fine lines. I think it, it's going to happen. We all accept that to some degree. But what a lot of women um, ask me about is dark spots, hyperpigmentation on the skin. And that's another um, indication of age, right? So it's just accumulation of sun damage. You're going to see it often on the tops of the cheekbones, that sort of thing. So these ones, the CC creams, are color correctors. So they, again, they're a moisturizer. Again, they have a little bit of pigment or tint to help even out the color of the skin. But these ones will have ingredients uh, like vitamin C, things that will help over time reduce the appearance of the dark spots. Hmm. And would you say those work? Have you seen them work on people? They work, but my advice to anybody is to make sure that they are as well using a sunscreen. Okay. Okay, so you can do some great correction, but the minute you go and lay out in the sun. That's what I hear. You can have those uh, beauty spots treated, but if you go back into the sun without protection, they're gonna come right back. Absolutely. So that's something to really think yeah. about. Mm -hmm. um, would you say most CC creams have a sunscreen in them? No. Uh, this one here uh, from Marcel does. It's an SPF 35 and again UVA, UVB. Um, you know actually that's funny because one would assume that they would. <laughs> but uh, not all of them do. Okay. So you know again this might be one to look at. 
Okay. So generally speaking then, there's a lot of choices out there, Amanda, and yeah. it's hard to know what, you know, you generally know whether or not you want something that's quite an oil-based or a little bit less oily because your skin, but if people have questions, they can come to you. Um, Absolutely. To find out the more of the particular parts about This that. is, yeah, I guess that's the, the crux of the issue is there's so many choices, it's really where do you start. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if you come in, we can listen to your concerns and sort of weed out what your particular needs or wants are and then help navigate you towards the one that would be better for you. Okay. This is off topic. We have about a minute left in the segment, so I was going to ask, when it comes to hand creams at this time of the year, I know all the ladies in the newsroom right now, we're all suffering from cracked skin, eczema, I have. Uh. Anything that you recommend uh, during this dry winter? Well, moisturize, moisturize, moisturize. We have some amazing products. I didn't bring any with me today, but um, they are some fantastic dermatological lines uh, that deal specifically with eczema, psoriasis, atopic dermatitis. I have one from a Aven uh, called Sicklefate Mains or Sicklefate Hands, which is particularly good for people that have fissures or cracks at mm -hmm. their fingertips. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. so lots of options. Come and talk. Find yeah, just come works. and see me. Yes, yeah. and something to keep in mind for people who do have that dry skin that suffer eczema. I get it in between my fingers sometimes, yeah. but there is a built-in eczema, um, uh, something in uh, certain creams that will actually help with that. Yeah, yeah, there's there's uh, a number of different manufacturers that make products that are dealing specifically with eczema. Like mm -hmm. I said, you're going to you're going to find them in my department on the back wall where all the dermatological lines are. Mm -hmm. uh, Aven, La Roche-Posay, uh, are two very popular derm brands. Good to know. Yeah. Help is out there. Yeah. Dry skin, it's the worst at this time of the year. Yeah, it's Amanda, tough. <laughs> it is tough. Thank you very much for being here today. Thanks again. Much appreciated. If you have questions for Amanda, she's got lots of answers for you. Londondrugs.ca. Phone number is also on the screen. You can get a hold of her through that number and you can make an appointment if you'd like to go down and talk to Amanda about any of your questions. We're back in two minutes with the weather. Stay with us.